Say, you fellas know if Jerome serves dessert here? I got a real hankering for pudding. That's so weird. I was just thinking about pudding on the way over here. Okay, well, you two are clearly in love. But I could also go for some pudding. Why we all got pudding on the brain? It's gotta be that new billboard advertising pudding on the highway. We all... Yeah, yeah, but right above that is like a big guy eating pudding. I don't remember none of that. I just remember CBS Outdoor advertising on the bottom and three pigeons sitting on top. You're bad at looking at billboards. Hey, we should go check it out right now. Ordinarily, I'd say no, but that adult kickball league is coming in for drinks, so let's get out of here. Guys, check it out. Hey, guys, notice anything different? Yeah, Manetti's got a hot new look. The whole thing, it just works. Manetti! Look, there's only one way to settle this. I am climbing that billboard to prove it's real pudding. Moisturizer? Sure. Okay. Get a crew out here to help you both down. <sighs> All right, but can you hurry it up? I got band practice later. I love playing the maracas. They're so fun. I wonder what's in them. Sand or rice, probably. Maybe it's little shells? Oh, no, what if it's bones? No, no, bones are too big. But Thank you so much for finding my boy. Thank you for finding her boy. I'm the stepfather. Peter Griffin, in recognition of your heroism in helping to rescue little Mikey Nicholson, I'd like to present you with this key to the city. I know you mean the opposite of what you're saying. Fact is, when I saved that boy, I wasn't thinking. I don't think. I just do. I wanted to see if a billboard had real pudding in it, so I climbed up there and came out a hero. It's just like Gandhi always said. Eat as much as you want and do whatever. And don't be afraid to hit each other. No, not see you tomorrow. Joe, what are you doing? You can't quit your job. Well, that's the other thing, Bonnie. You and I are done, too. What? I'm leaving you. Whoa! New Joe! Wow. I can't remember the last time Joe shot his gun. I know, that bullet's been rolling around in his... And you think this is gonna be it, huh? Oh, God, whatever. Peter, I'm worried about Joe. You know, not only did he quit his job, he's moved out and gotten his own apartment. Oh, I feel terrible for Bonnie and the kids. Ah, oh, they'll be fine. He'll bounce back, just like Humpty Dumpty did after his fall. My God, it's a miracle. You were able to... ...to upset you, and for some reason, this is the voice people use to do that. Oh, great. Come on in. Check out the new pad. Whoa, you got an air hockey table? Yep. Wanted it, got it. That's the new joke. And check this out. It's the gun that no leg sprinter used to kill his girlfriend. Oh, my God! Eh, anyone want just stop inventing stuff now, because no one will ever top this. Oh, no. He breaks away. I expressly said no rakes allowed on the street when I am riding my futuristic machine. Uh, oh! Uh, Children, this is progress. How can you turn the blind eye to progress? <laughs> Man, I am filling these Gatorade bottles as fast as I'm drinking them. Oh, sweet cows. Let's tip them over. What? You want to tip over some cows? Hell yeah. <laughs> this is going to be so boss. I can't wait. This is the hardest thing I... Fool around the really fat one. He's kind of like my boss. What? Who who's there? Joe, what the hell are you doing? I went to a high school kegger party. Made a few new friends. This is Chrysalis, Ichabod, and Cancer. Oh, I see three young men who could use the tickle monster. Uh, that's a bad read, Pete. Joe, it's three in the morning. We're trying to get some sleep. to him back at the drive-thru when he leaned out the window and ordered a fur burger. That's not funny. That's just nasty. Plus, there's people waiting behind you. Wow. You know, when you see it up close, it really is incredible. Yeah. Holy crap, it's beautiful. In the that he argued over the price of breakfast this morning. <laughs> it makes no sense! Damn it! Joe? <gasps> Joe, you're alive! Are you hurt? I'm not sure. Well, hang in there, Joe. We'll get some help. No! Just let me die! Oh, no. Can't do that, Joe. We're friends. We look out for each other. I mean, you supported me, but you've been so happy these last few days. I've been manic. Do you think Andy Dick is happy? I couldn't imagine, no. Look, when I saw Peter become a hero, I guess it reminded me of all the things I can't do. 
I'm a cop who can't save anyone. I'm a husband in a legless marriage. My whole life is a joke. But somehow, as soon as I decided to kill myself, I actually felt free. Eight. I stink at this. Anywhere is fine. Guys, this is unnecessary. Give me my chair back. No, we can't trust you not to kill yourself. Yeah, then you'd be the t Well, you can't do Niagara Falls without riding the Maid of the Mist. Yeah, let's do everything. Great. And guys, remember, the pool towels go home with us. They got no way of accounting for those. <laughs> Oh, crap! I'm losing my grip! You buy your jeans at Walmart? No, somebody who lost theirs at the church did. You wear lost and found jeans? I waited the mandatory week. Hang on, guys! Keep swallowing water. We'll drink our way out of this. I even pictured my own funeral. Grandma got run over by a reindeer Walking home from our house Christmas Eve I don't know, Chris. I don't know why he wanted this, but we're honoring your father's wishes. Whoa, 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 what's that song? Nothing. I made it up. Well, stop it. It's terrible. I don't think so. It's catchy. We're four friends having an adventure. Four friends having an adventure. Four friends Now what the hell? Adventure. Four friends having an adventure. At Niagara Falls. What? Hey, guys. Wow, Joe, you got your job back? Sure did. How'd you pull that off? Ah, uh, they always need more cops. Turns out not many people want to probably get shot for $24,000 a year. And what about Bonnie? How you getting her back? Well, I got a plan for that. I hired some guys to come to the house on Tuesday and assault her. And I'll come in and save her, and she'll be... We now return to yet another Indiana Jones movie. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Elderly potheads. Why did it have to be elderly potheads? Is everyone warm in here? Is it warm? Brian, are you feeling all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It just seems kind of... <laughs> Blood work shows that your liver isn't functioning properly. Would you happen to be a drinker? Well, I, I don't know if I'd label myself a drinker. I, I know I like a cold beer after I mow the lawn. <laughs> there were three lies in that sentence. Brian, have you ever heard of Lou Gehrig's disease? <gasps> oh, no. Well, you have Mickey Mantle's disease. Now, the most obvious step would simply be to stop drinking. Hey, Chris, I noticed you were sitting alone. You mind if I join you? Sure, we both have hats. Makes sense. Oh, thanks. Hey, can you check my back for kick me signs? Oh, yeah, you got a couple. <laughs> and for dessert, the only bad cookie in the world. Hey, what's it like buying food from school? It's good. I know everyone back there, so they let me drink the corn water. Boy, it's so great having someone I can talk to. I feel the same way, Chris. I think you and I could get along very nicely. Yeah, we'll be a better team than the Warsaw Globetrotters. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Happening. No, 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 I do not go the butt way. Look, I know it sounds a little rough, but why don't we start with a gentle massage of the area and see how you feel? Peter, get away from my ass. <laughs> right, no! Huh, guess I'm just gonna have to take him by surprise. Shouldn't be too hard. After all, I used to be a Pete in the box. Well, if you're in that much pain, I guess. Okay. <laughs> you were lying? You weren't feeling sick? I don't understand. Why did you want me to do this? <laughs> what? He was in on it? It was just a prank? Where do our Hollywood farts go? I've heard they're filtered into Tom Sizemore's house. <laughs> ah, Morgan. Wh 
What the hell? You... You bit me! You're damn right I did! And I'll do it again if you don't stay the hell away from my ass! But Brian, the vet said... <laughs> yeah. Wow, where did that come from? God, that was so intense! I feel more powerful than a lesbian's crotch! Ooh, sorry, ma'am, we don't valet motorcycles. Honey, when did Peter Griffin take up jogging? I don't know, dear. By the way, we're the couple who lives a few blocks away. We now return to an 80s teen movie at a realistic high school. He likes the Packers and surfing. Enough is enough, Peter. The dog's not in charge of this house. First thing tomorrow, I'm taking Brian to obedience school so we can get him back under control. You know, sending him to school wouldn't be the worst idea. He might even enjoy it. I know I had a blast in college. Man, I love college. So many chicks, so many parties. Yeah, <laughs> totally. You do that? Wow, that'd be great. Wait, Neil, I thought you and I were gonna go find unlocked cars and pretend we're driving them. Sorry, Chris. Booty calls. What was that all about? Well, I guess I have to do it by myself. Boy, this light is taking forever. Please get out. A comedy dog with Robert Smigel's hand up your backside. Well, let me tell you something, comedy dog. You're here for me to poop on. All right, first of all, it seems like you have a lot of opinions about a lot of comedians. And second of all... Ah! Oh, that hurts. That's right. Silent and terrible. Like the artist. I watch a lot of TV and movies. I am your media savvy worst nightmare. Because of my divorce. Good for him. He actually followed through. What the hell? Again? Thanks for doing my book report, Neil. And I didn't even have to change the handwriting because you write like a girl. You should see me throw. Listen, Meg, would you want to go to a movie sometime? Yo, we've had some good times together. We even got Sean Penn to dress up as my dad. Go away, I never want to talk to you again! God, I should have known it. I feel more betrayed than when I thought that lawyer was gonna propose. So you did commit the murder? Uh-huh. I will repay you. Who's this puss? Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm not a cat. I'm, I'm a dog. I'm your pet, and, and I'm just happy to be here. Brian, what did they do to you at that school? Y you're so submissive. Yes, looks like someone's gone at him with a whip. That, that, is, that is a perfectly valid way of saying that. Bravo, master. Master? I'm glad we got here early. I like to watch the previews. Yeah, and also the friendly warning about theater shootings. Don't get shot by a bullet. Don't get shot by a bullet. Keep your wits about you. Cleveland, what are you looking at? I'm on the edge. Saw Halloween 2 last night. Ryan, go outside. Keep guard for Michael Myers. If it seemed like he dead, he ain't dead. Boy, Peter, seems like that obedience school did wonders for Brian. Oh, yeah, it's great. He'll do anything I tell him to now. Uh, oh, forgive me for speaking out of turn, sir, but you sent me to that school to change me. It was your turn, wasn't it? First I went, and you went? We best get you to bed, sir. Oh, come on, Brian, it's still early. Let's just let's go throw potatoes at Cleveland's house. You go ahead. I've got to go make the waffle fries that you scream requested in the car. And why are you playing the news? Oh, it's an old boombox. I don't own any cassettes, so I just have to play whatever's on the radio. Shouldn't you be out with Meg? Look, Chris, I I'm sorry I lied to you, but I'd still like to be friends. And I hope... I'm sorry, I have to put the boombox down. The D batteries make it very heavy. Neil, there you are. What the hell is... Move out, Irish trash. Hey, Lois, you noticed ever since Brian came back from obedience school that things have been weird? What do you mean? Why, he just lets me order him around, and he never wants to do fun stuff together like before. I mean, the thing I always loved about Brian was... That... Ah, damn it! What the hell, Peter? Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh my God! I bit you! I'm, I'm so sorry, sir. No, no, no! It's okay. It's okay. Don't you see, Brian? That's the appropriate response if anyone gets near Uranus. Look, we were wrong to try to.
And now I'm gonna go upstairs and pee in Meg's bed. No! We're gonna go pee in Meg's bed. Good boy. Hey, what's up? I didn't know we could do finger stuff in the public room.